Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Pharmacypedia. If you are watching my video for the first time, please do like and subscribe to my channel Pharmacypedia. This channel is meant for all the pharmacy students and keep regularly tuned for the further updates. In this session, we are going to discuss about prickly heat. The topic is covered under the subject cosmetics and cosmeceuticals. So let us begin. Prickly heat is widely prevalent in small children. These are the type of the itchy red skin which develops over the neck region, over the chest region of small babies and they suffer a lot. It is also referred to as the heat rash. Also describes like a cluster of small itchy red blisters across the skin that causes a burning or picking sensation. It is also referred to as malaria rubra. The rash occurs as a result of the blockage of sweat glands. So it is widely found in obese people, overweight people, where the chances of getting the sweat duct is blockage is high. It happens in the hot and humid weather and develops in babies and small children due to their underdeveloped sweat glands. The symptoms associated with the prickly heat as discussed is like the presence of itchy and uncomfortable red colored skin. Developing the rash isn't a reason to see a doctor but there are certain treatment options which, are, which can actually help the prevention and also help to avoid the burning sensation. It is sometimes also referred to as the sweat rash or by its diagnostic name malaria rubra. Children tend to get it more than adults because their sweat glands are still developing. Now it is characterized by the presence of red bumps and itching which occurs mostly in the area where sweat has been trapped underneath the layers of the skin. So the areas like neck, shoulder and chest are the most common places for prickly heat to appear. Folds of the skin and places where your clothing rubs across your skin are also the area where prickly heat occurs. The area of irritation is displaying a a reaction right away or it sometimes it may take few days to develop your skin reactions. It will take the form of a patch of very small blisters. This is your skin which is reacting to the sweat glands that is leaked between its layer. Other areas of your body where sweat is trapped might appear swollen or itching persist. Now what are the causes of developing this malaria rubra? Malaria rubra or sweat rash is developed particularly in the hot weather when the humidity is very high. Sometimes it triggers the most common trigger for the prickly heat rash. So when you sweat more than usual, your glands can become overwhelmed. The sweat ducts may become blocked, trapping the sweat deep underneath your skin. Or the sweat may leak through the layers of the skin close to the top layer and become trapped there. So it is possible to get prickly heat any time of the year, but it's most common in the warmer, hot and humid weather. So these are the treatment options and remedies like prickly heat powders. Aloe vera gels is found to be effective for the treatment of skin and it also provides the cooling sensation. Then the most preferred remedy is the calamine lotion. It is found to be a lot of effective in the case of prickly heat. So the treatment and the remedies suggested are is the calamine lotion. Sometimes if the condition is severe, topical steroids in low concentrations are also prescribed. Anhydrous lanoline may be prescribed sometimes and the best way is to avoid the skin products that contain petroleum or mineral oil because oil actually uh, aggregates and further uh, initiates the prickly heat sensation. So it is preferred to avoid the oily substances, petroleum jelly, mineral jelly to avoid the prickly heat uh, sweat rash. So the preferred way of the treatment is to apply various types of the prickly heat powders, calamine lotions, topical steroids only if the condition is very severe and that too in low uh, concentrations. So uh, one must prefer these uh, available prickly heat because they help a lot in the prevention of the sweat rashes. Now there are certain recommendations and suggestions like avoiding exposure to the heat 
by staying indoors and in an air conditioned environment because it develops in hot and humid weather so it will be better to prevent it by keeping the person cool in a air conditioned environment then again wearing the loose clothes whereby the sweat can be easily evaporated if the sweat remains trapped then only the condition worsens so to avoid that by wearing the sweat, it is recommended to wear loose cotton clothes and taking regular baths in cool water using soap to remove any accumulated sweat and grime so this, it is these are the certain suggestions which can actually prevent the development of the these itchy rashes in uh, small children and babies so applying the calamine lotion to soothe the affected area is one of the best way to treat the as uh, these sweat rashes in severe cases steroid containing creams and lotions may be recommended in lower doses thank you so much for watching my video please do like share and subscribe to my channel pharmacy pdm also please provide your views in the comment box thank you so much stay safe stay happy